Hi, Duncan from 65 Hair. Today I'm going to show you how to create a autoresponder that doesn't cost you a thing for an email address in Google Workspace. Now, you might have a, a, a long-term uh, member of your business that leaves and we want to make sure that any email that goes to that gets an autoresponder to inform people that that is no longer the contact point and it's moved somewhere else. Now, clearly you can do that inside of Gmail by creating an autoresponder and having the Gmail account deal with that. However, that means that you need a user license and you have to pay for that user license. So is there a different way? Well, the good news is there is. You can actually use a group and put an autoresponder onto a Google group. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that and get it set up so that you don't have to pay for any autoresponders to keep your clients up to date. So let's get started. So the first thing is, uh, as an admin, you're going to need to log into your account and you're going to make sure that under Apps, Google Workspace, Google Groups for Business, that that service status is on. So that's the first step. We need Google Groups. Second thing we're going to do is actually going to create a group that is going to be for that user. So in this case, I'm going to say the user that's left us, his name is Dave, and that's because everybody's got a mate called Dave. I don't need a group owner for this, but uh, because I'm creating it, I'm going to just use my account as the owner because I am going to need to log into the group and actually set up the uh, messaging that we need to have happen. And I'm just going to leave that one as mailing. Now, the important thing in here is we need people who are external to our organization to be able to post to this group. So I've got to tick that box there. Everything else we can leave as is. We don't want anybody else to be able to join the group necessarily, so you can tweak those settings, and we don't want any members outside of our organization. So we can click Create Group. Now, as this stands, what's going to happen is when someone sends an email to it, I'm going to get a copy of that email. It's going to go through the Google group, and then it's going to come to me because I define myself as an owner. Once I've completed this process, I could remove myself from that group. You can also change the settings in that group so I don't get any emails if I don't want them. So let's uh, now go and deal with how we deal with this next. So my next step, now I've got that, is I'm going to go to groups.google.com. When I open up Google Groups, it's going to show me the group that uh, I am now an owner of. And as you can see on the right here, I can change that to say I don't want any email from this. And that's fine. What will happen is the email will accumulate inside the Google group and you can come back and review it at any time if you wish. But now let's uh, go in here and set up the autoresponder. So I'm going to go into the left hand side here. I'm going to go to group settings. And under this, I'm now going to scroll down until I see. The uh, email options section. And I'm looking for auto replies. Okay, now because I'm doing this for our customers and clients who are external to our organization, I'm looking for the option that says enable auto reply to members outside of the organization. And I'm looking for non members. Okay, so members are people that are actually in the group that you might be able to see under members. Non members are going to be the vast majority of our clients or customers external to the organization. So let's write in a quick message to inform them that Dave no longer works with us. Apart from the bad spelling, we didn't do too badly here, there. So all we're doing is we're just informing the user, Dave's no longer a member of the business. Okay, so I'm gonna click on save changes there. Now you might wanna go through this and check the spam settings and some other bits and pieces, but for now, that will get the job done. All right, so now we're gonna go test this. So I'm gonna compose a quick email and I'm gonna send this to Dave. And then we're going to go and see what happens on the other end in the Google group. And then we'll come back to our email account here and we'll see if uh, an autoresponder comes in. So let's first of all send that email. All right, there we go. So my email has arrived, Dave, uh, inside of the Google group. And I can review that email, see the content just like a normal inbox. And as the recipient, or sorry, as the original sender of that email, I can now also get a response and here's our autoresponder. Dave's no longer a member of our business. Please contact and we'll assign you a new account manager. So that's perfect. 
what a great solution to be able to correctly manage and, and nicely manage your uh, outgoing staff if you need to have that autoresponder in place. Now we recently used this for a customer that sold the business and the principal left that business and they wanted to make sure an autoresponder was in place to inform them that the principal was no longer there and how to get help and assistance from the new principal in the future. Super easy, pretty quick to do. My name is Duncan, thanks very much for watching. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe below. And if you'd like more help with your Google Workspace, please download our guide, The Six Mistakes That Can Be Made in Google Workspace that frankly can derail your business. Link for that is below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.